Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video uh, and we are back with another snack sit down. We've gone back to TK Maxx because we tried some of their snacks last year, like months ago now, and they just have the weirdest and most wonderful snacks there. Yeah. So we thought, let's do another one because we love, I mean, I love TK Maxx. Yeah, you do. It's um, everything. You love all the random I can't little bits. pass the TK Maxx without popping in. It's really bad. And Literally. I don't often buy things and if I do, I'll just buy like one candle. Or like one yeah. bars. It's a strange shop. Um, it takes some patience, shop. but you probably all recognise the scenario. You've got your weird stuff from TK Maxx. You're queuing up, and you're then surrounded by all these like weird snacks, like these strange combinations and like brands you've never heard of before. Yeah. So we thought that we would head to our TK Maxx and pick up some of those sort of weird snacks and try them today. As always, we have a mix, and I find as well the price in TK Maxx can really vary. Like these were four pounds. These are like some randomly oatmeal mm. chocolate chip cookie bites, but then these are. 150 like I think that's quite expensive. It's actually. on the pricier side of snacks, but like we say, it, them, it's yeah. kind of a stranger, weirder combos that you're going to find. Yeah, so most so. of these brands we've never seen before, um, which is why we wanted to try it, and we thought we would, it would fit really well in doing another video for TK Maxx. So yeah. TK Maxx snacks, shall we? Let's do it. What should we try? Start these. Okay. I said that's the first one you picked up. I think it was, and you'll realise in a minute why. And these are cappuccino cacao almonds chocolate coffee almonds yeah yeah there were lots of coffee themed stuff uh, in this tk max which actually i'm here for i've never had a coffee flavored almond oh my days that smells really strong of coffee oh doesn't it so these are absolutely coated these nuts let's see if you can get a look at them oh they're rock hard it's like candied candied almond it's almond. so strong of coffee I'm not really getting much coffee from that, you know. It smells much more coffee. Really? It just tastes like when you get candied. It tastes like a coffee bean anything. to me. Really? Yeah. They're rock hard. <sighs> they really are rock hard. Jesus, I'm kind of scared for my teeth, you know. The, the nice thing is you do get that that hit of the very distinctive almond taste at the end, right? Yeah, they're actually quite nice. Yeah. They I are do nice. Like that. If you like like you know coated nuts, then I like those a lot. I'm gonna give them a seven. For me, they're going to be an eight and a half. Really? I'm not getting cappuccino. It smells like coffee, but it don't taste like coffee. It's just like yeah. sweet chocolate. I'm getting the coffee and the chocolate. I think it's quite nice. Mm. Um, they're just a bit hard. Um, On to the next. Let's try the oatmeal yeah, bite, shall they we? Yeah, they they do. So these are three ninety nine. Heavenly... Is that hunks or chunks? It's got the chunks in it. Oh, it's hunks. Oh. I thought the price might have been covering the sea, but it's heavenly hunks. Ridiculously amazing oatmeal chocolate chip so these are gluten-free cookies baked with love and real ingredients buying about there's only six in there they must be big. oh they must be big what that's not hang a... on to be fair i thought it said chunks to be fair so i, was I thought it was gonna be little, little like cookie bites so there's only six in there yeah i was not expecting that i thought it was gonna be like, lots of little cookie bites i'm expecting them to be They're chunky look at that Oh. That'll do some damage. I thought it was going to be quite soft and quite crumbly. It's like a, it's like a granola... Like an oat bar, like a oat flapjack. Bar. It's a, yeah, like a flapjack. You see those chocolate chips in there? That does look good. I'm a little bit disappointed that there's only six, but that is our fault because it does say it right there on the wrap And they there. are big. Ooh. Ooh, I quite like that. Mm. Um, nice, but it's not like amazing. It tastes like flapjack to me, personally. It tastes like a chocolate flapjack. It tastes like a chocolate flapjack. It tastes like a Trek bar. Do you yeah. know what those ones I used to always mm -hmm. have? It tastes like a Trek bar. It's just really oaty. Mm. I've had better flapjack, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give those a five. Oh. And they're four quid. Yeah, they are. Four to be quid fair, for six of them. Like, that's quite expensive for six. Yeah, it is. I'm, well, sure. I'm going to give that a six and a half. Right, should we try a crisp? Let's. Right, let's try these. Ooh, I'm excited about these. These are boundless activated snacking. Uh, and these are sea salt and cider vinegar. It looks like a mixture between the sun bites. Yeah, and like a bacon get, rasher. And a bacon rasher, exactly what I was gonna say. I hope these are good. I Ooh. do love me some salt and vinegar. They smell good. So yeah, they are like a oh. like a puffy type crisp. They are quite puffed out, aren't they? What's that taste? Oh dear. Ooh, that's a weird flavour, man. You know, when you're expecting salt and vinegar and then you get... I'm trying to explain it. What is it? It's like a... Um, 
It's like a plain wheat crunch type thing. Like, yeah, imagine... it's, like a, it's a wheat flavour. I wouldn't go for that again, I nah. But, oh, I don't know. No, I was going to try and just... No, nah, there's no way of defending those. No. They are bad crisps. They are four. I was going to say four. You know what it is? Is The flavour is on the outside. It's like a powder. Yeah, so, you get that initially good. and then you buy it, like, keep chewing. And then it's just nothing. It's just really flavourless. Yeah. Okay, let's try these because I'm okay. slightly apprehensive about them. Yeah. This is Thatcher's Gourmet Popcorn Fruit Medley. And yeah, they had loads of flavours of yeah, this Yeah, they popcorn. did, didn't they? Why did we... We just thought this one looked quite interesting. Yeah, didn't we? rainbow popcorn. This reminds me of like going to like a fun fair or something. Right. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it just smells like sweet popcorn. Ow. I'm gonna try a pink one. I'm gonna try several at a time. Oh god. Let's see if green's different. I know. Still tastes the same to me. Because you had them all in one bite. Let's try orange. Am I imagining it or are they different? Oh no, they're different. Can we have a blue yeah, one? Yeah, that's different. That's oh, different. They did well with the flavour. That's like sweet popcorn on. Steroids. Yeah. I could have like three or four of those, but that's way too sweet. I also reckon that the other flavours they had, they had all sorts of like caramel ones, like chocolate coffee one, ones, coffee ones. Like, um, I'm going to give those a seven. I think actually quite good for what it is. It's oh. just like, you can only have a little bit of it. I'm going to give it five. Wouldn't get them again. Okay. I hope these are going to be good. These are ones that I was most excited about. These are dark chocolate covered espresso beans. Oh, God. Dark chocolate cooked coffee beans. Cook. Cook, cook coffee beans. Right. I like that all of the ones that are like this are resealable. Yeah. That's quite good, isn't it? Oh, these are interesting. So they are. Oh, God. I do know that people, some people just do chew coffee beans. Oh, God, that smells very bitter. Yeah, it might be. Mmm. That is so strong. That's a great. Do you love idea. that? I yeah. Love that. love that. There's enough sweetness in there, so it isn't mm. so bitter. The coffee bean actually is quite soft. I was going to say that these are softer than the almonds. <clears throat> yeah. That's actually not that bad. It's really good. It's very strong. Oh the yeah. Caffeine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are very nice. The more I, I like eat, those. the more I'm enjoying it. Actually. Yeah. Let me give that eight and a half. For me, that's a nine. Nine out of ten. I, I, would, I would really like milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah. The extra little bit of sweetness, but actually, the concept of that and the way that the espresso bean is really soft. Yeah, true. I really like that a true lot. That. Right, one, two, three, four left. Yeah. Should we have our drink? Let's do it. Okay, so they've got a like a mini drinks cabinet in well in our one anyway. I think in most of the TK yeah. Maxx, and they have like the general like Coke Zero and Coke and stuff Pepsi like that, Max. but and Pepsi Max, but they have. This from Soda Folk. Uncommon flavour for uncommon folk. Are we uncommon? Well, I, I would know. say I'm pretty standard, to be fair. So what's the flavour? It's this uncommon because we don't know what it is. Carbonated cherry flavoured soft drink. Right, so it's like a cherry aid. Yeah. No added sugar, no artificial colours, preservatives, or flavour rings. rings. Oh, I was going to say, it was like... Flavour No flavour? Hold it. Oh dear. Our table! Oh, it smells nice. Excuse my slurping. Right. Okay, apologies about that. We're all cleaned up. So, let me have a proper sip because I was just slurping the top. Good fizz to it. Oh. <coughs> so strong. I quite like it. It tastes a lot subtler than it smells. Oh, yeah. It tastes like a diluted cherry aid, Ooh, and actually, really nice. I love it yeah, because lovely. whenever I have juice or anything, I properly dilute mine down. I don't like a sweet tasting juice or anything like that. So that is spot on. It's, it's, a, it's sparkling rather than a fizzy. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's basically like a sparkling juice as opposed to like a real fizzy sugary drink. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you've tried like the the fizzy, like sparkling Rubicon. Quite similar vibe. Like yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, is that's good. So is good, good yeah. both of them. That's nice though. I like that. I'm going to give that uh, eight and a half out of ten. I'm going to nine. Right. On to our second bag of crisps then. Vegan cheese twists with potato 
and lentils. Now there's a lot going on on this packaging, there's right? There's a lot going on, especially a very happy lady on there too. <laughs> made with vegan cheese, it's gluten free, it's non-GMO. Made from a satisfying mix of lentils, potato and our special vegan cheese. So I it's love, like a lentil crisp. I love lentil crisp. I think lentils and flavours go well together. I hope it's got a good crunch. Yeah. Back into it, girl. <laughs> it's gonna go everywhere. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. smell good. They right? look like good sized curls to me. They do. Like when you get spiral salt and vinegar crisps, you know? How cheesy do you reckon? I reckon not that cheesy. That was a good crunch. Oh, oh, I really like that. Mm. It's not cheese like a what's it? These are nice. It's cheese like what is that? They're similar. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give those a ten because that couldn't get any better for me. No, they are great. They really are good. I like these a lot. I'm gonna give them a nine and a half. Okay. For me, the cheese could be a bit stronger. Overall, that is a great bag of crisps. I'm so glad that we got a good crisp because those activated chips are not the one for me. All right, let's try these. This is our penultimate. These are candy kittens, which we have tried before. Yeah, yeah. And I know candy kittens are like pretty much everywhere, but we've never seen this flavor before. It's orchard apple and dragon fruit. Yeah. And maybe we've passed it, but we've never really like looked, but we just thought that was the most interesting option that they had. This is their vegan ones as well, because I know they're not, are they all they're vegan? All vegan. Oh, they are all yeah, vegan. Yeah, they're all vegan. Because so I've seen brand. some of these flavours, and they're always like the weird little peach ones. Yes. Yeah, so but I've never seen these. Damn irresistible gourmet gummies. gourmet gummies. Okay, I do like their, the watermelon candy kittens are so good. Yeah, they are good, Oh yeah. my goodness me. Oh, they're quite solid. Isn't this Jamie Lang's brand? Yeah. Fair play. Because they're good mm. sweets. Mm, very chewy. Mm. I've never had one that's not a fizzy from them. Mm. Mm, the flavour's mm, good though. The really good. It takes a little while to get yeah. there because they're quite chewy and solid. It's more of like a full flavour than it is like a Haribo. Mm -hmm. They're like a really solid cherry. They're good though. Cherry from Haribo. Yeah. Not fizzy. Those are like a 9.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. The only thing that makes it not a 10 is the texture. Mm. It's on the like stuff in your teeth Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type. yeah. Five. If you've got dentures, you won't tuck it into them. <laughs> I'm going to give it a eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Final thing, Maribel, which is in Ikea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dime XL cookies. Isn't it game? It's Dime. <laughs> so we have eight cookies here. Um, these were the ones, like, these caught my eye. As soon as we walked through that aisle, I was like, jeez. Anything that's like dime, you I always go for. I love it. It's all over this. I hope they're good. I hope they're gooey. I hope they're perfect. Don't be dry. Don't Ooh. be dry. Oh, they are big. Oh, Pretty they're big. thin. Yeah, they're thin. Okay. Oh, yes. I would, so they are biscuits, aren't they? Yeah, these are, oh. They don't bend. <laughs> they, they definitely snap. They do snap. not bend. I per barely put any pressure into that. <gasps> do you know what we can do? Melt them. Put them in the air fryer. Oh yeah. We recently got an air fryer and Matt is just obsessed with I'll it. I'll put anything in And I'm air obsessed fryer. with it too, to be fair. And I can think you cook it? Yes. That would make it gooey. Yeah. But let's try it. Like, These are biscuits. It's a bit more solid, They're not cookies. isn't it? Why are you lying? Mm. That's not dime. I can't taste any dime in there, can you? The cookie itself is really strange, the flavour. It's just super buttery. Yeah. It's like a shortbread. Yeah. For me, because it's got the sort of caramelness of the dime, have that melted down so it's soft and gooey, mm. a bit of vanilla ice cream to cut through. Perfect. But the whole of it is very crumbly. It is, isn't it? I would say I'm quite okay. underwhelmed by them. Yeah. I thought the I was going to like them a lot more than I do. The cookie itself has so much flavour that it's like, what's going on yeah do you know you get supermarket cookies and they're like you can get like toblerone ones like i prefer yeah. that type of cookie where it's like a bendy same. gooey buttery cookie same same um not so much those they're still nice though um but i'll probably give them an eight i'll give them a s Actually, eight i'll give it a seven okay. i'm only seven because i think it has potential yeah we will make that worthwhile we can game. we will we 100%. will air fryer ice cream the lot right 
A mixed bag. Literally. A mixed bag. There we go, guys. But um, let us know what you've come across in TK Maxx or TJ Maxx. We could definitely do another video like this. There are so many snacks there and I'm always up for a trip to TK Maxx. Absolutely. But let us know what other places. It doesn't have to be a supermarket. Just let us know if there's anywhere with snacks that you'd like us to do a quick little taste test yep. for and more than happy to do it. Absolutely, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, we will see you very, very soon with a brand new video. So until then, take care and we will see you guys very soon.